I start my study in class 10, and I'm a student of Mindware Academy, and I'm highly thankful to respected Sakib sir who gave me an opportunity to come here. So today I'll be giving my presentation on the second chapter, which is from our short story section, and that's Bodhi. Bodhi is a very sensitive story with a dramatic ending, and it's written by K. Abbas. K. Abbas was the most popular Indian film director, a journalist, and a novelist. He is well known for his works in Hindi, Urdu, and many other languages. So this story is all about a young girl named as Laika, who is popularly referred to as Boli because of her simple and innocent nature. When she was 10 months old, she found from a car which perhaps had caused some damage to her brain, and that was the reason she used to stammer when she was dumb, when she learned to talk. She was born a beautiful child, but then she suffered from smallpox that left some dark bookmarks on her face, and that bookmark spoiled her beauty. And people would often make of her fun of her appearance, and also because she stammered. Bodhi's father, Ram Lal, had seven children, out of which three were sons and four were daughters. And among daughters, Bodhi was the youngest one. And her parents were also worried about her, that how to get her married when she will grow older. One fine day, Tassala had come to perform an inaugural ceremony of the primary high school in the village for girls. And, and he told Ram Lal to send all his daughters to the school. And when Ramla discussed about this matter with his wife, she objected and said, if we'll send our girls to the school, then nobody is going to marry them. This was the mindset that a lot of people used to carry at that time, that if girls are sent to school, nobody is going to marry them. And still doing some rural areas where it's believed that education is not meant for girls. She somehow agreed to send Boli to the school because she wasn't sure would Boli ever get married or not because of her appearance and also because of the fact that she stammered. Initially, Boli was so scared of going to school as she had never even heard about school, what the school really is, what the school is really meant for. Finally, on the first day when she was grown properly and was sent to school, she found that school can be a better place than her own home. And she was so elated and overjoyed with happiness when she reached school and saw girls around her of her own age. And she wanted to make friendship with them, but she was a bit scared to talk to them. When the teacher smilingly asked her name, she stammered in front of the entire class and started crying. But her teacher was a kind nature lady, she uh, told her, she encouraged her to say her name again. And finally, she was able to say her name. And she said, put all the fear out from her heart. And don't be scared. And then she gave her few books with pictures and told her to come to school every day. And that filled Bully's heart with a new ray of hope and an assurance for good and better life. As many years passed by, this village developed and Sora became a town. And there could be seen many improvements around. So there was a proposal for Boli, and it was basically a marriage proposal from the perspective of bridegroom Bishamber, who was an old living man with grown up children, and he was almost Boli's father's age. However, Ramal and his family accepted this alliance because they thought that Boli would never get a better man than this. And then they accepted this alliance and they said, we'll get, uh, we'll get Boli married to that um, Ramal. And her sisters were also envious of the great pomp and show on their sister's wedding. When the groom was uh, about to put the garland round the bride's neck, means Boli's neck, uh, he and women slowly slipped the veil from her face and her face got revealed. And Bishamber the groom was so shocked and astonished to see the dark book marks on her face. And he said that I'm not going to marry her without the dowry of 5,000 rupees. So Ramna somehow managed the amount of 5,000 rupees which was a huge amount at that time. So when the groom again uh, tried to garner the bride, she honed his hand and said that I'm never going to get married to such a coward and greedy person. She said uh, he was an old living man with grown up children. I still accepted him, but now I'm aware of the fact that she, uh, he, is, um, he is greedy and coward also. 
I am not going to get married to this guy again. And the people around were so astonished and stunned to see Bodhi speaking so clearly and fluently and she didn't even stammer or stuttered at this time. And later she assured his father that she is going to get, take care of him and also of her uh, mother on their old age. And uh, her, seeing all this from a distance, her uh, teacher was watching all this from a distance. And she felt uh, a great sense of relief and satisfaction when she saw the confidence and uh, the courage of Bodhi that she exhibited in front, in front of a large scale of people. And she also said that I'm going to teach in the same school where I learned lots of things. So this brings us to the end. I hope you like my presentation and I will thank um, Mr. Sakib sir again that he gave me this opportunity. He is so motivating and uh, I really appreciate your efforts sir and I also appreciate your attention. Thank you.